Um, let's, yeah, let, let's get into it. The World Cup squad. Um, in fact, we might as well get the full World Cup squad up. But just yeah. very quickly, your reaction to White, Ramsdale, Saka all making it for England? Well, Saka and Ramsdale are, you know, pretty much certies in, in terms of the squad. It was, I'm happy for Ben White, though, because, you know, there's been a lot of talk about will he make it, won't he make it, how come he was a debate. part of the last squad, you know, for the friendlies and whatnot. And a couple injuries into the right back position has kind of thrust him into the squad. And, and I'm happy for him, man. He deserves it. He deserves mm. it. Someone that's gone under the radar for the majority of the season. But anytime we discuss him or me and any other Arsenal fan or opposition fan, it's nothing but credit to him. Yeah. So I'm glad Southgate's done the right thing and brought him along. He's been pretty much faultless this season. What I mean is, I think you can look at some players who have had an unbelievable season so far and still pick out a bad moment, whether it be a miss, a little error or whatever. And I look at Ben White and I think, I can't think of him putting a foot wrong. Now, I've 100% jinxed it for the Wolves game, which <laughs> is just beautiful of me. But you, know, you think of that block for Jesse Lingard, we one up in the Nottingham Forest game, the block against Fulham at home, yeah. which we ultimately go on to win. Yeah. These, are, these are small moments that get forgotten because, oh, we beat Fulham at home, we beat Forest 5-0. But there were big moments as well that actually you know, maybe saved Arsenal a little bit more trouble than they needed. Um, whilst, on the other hand, getting assists for Granit Xhaka at Southampton, whilst being just excellent on the ball as he has been, I, I'm, I'm over the moon for him. I, I think Ben White is one of, I'm just looking at that list, one of, if not the best defender on that list. Here's, here's who they've got. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Kieran Trippier, Connor Cody, Dyer, Maguire, Stones, White, and then Luke Shaw as the left back. Um, I, I mean, I think Ben White is going in, uh, you know, in the best form of anyone. Maybe Kieran Trippier is, is you know, one you talk about. Um, I would listen. If I was... I know what Trent brings and don't get mm. twisted this season he's been exposed defensively more than any other mm -hmm. season but in terms of offensively if Southgate opens up a bit then Trent is massive to to that opening up mm -hmm. I'm looking at the centre-back situation and I'm saying let's say John Stones is, is certified mm -hmm. who next to him Cody Maguire Eric Dyer Ben, ben list, White stands it? out much more than any of those I think it's easier for him to get us into the centre back pairing than it might be for him to get a right back. But either or, I'm happy with. No, I, I actually completely agree. But my thing is that he's probably going to play a back three. So why not see Kieran Tripp has been getting forward, doing really well for for Newcastle recently. Why not White Stones Maguire? Listen, he loves Maguire. And in fairness, the one thing I'll give the one thing I'll give Southgate a little bit of credit, or, or at least defend him on, is a lot of people do this whole Maguire's been crap. Why is he picking him? Because he's actually been good for England and not good by by the standards we've seen set by Maguire the last couple of years. He's actually legitimately played really well for England at tournaments. So I can see why he's going with him. He'll probably go for a back three as he always does. Ben White is he is the right centre back in England. He just is. Like But anytime like just to question that, you mm. are right generally. Yeah. But any time England come up against a position where it's 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 tough, mm. they tend to fall over. But I think that's more the way he sets England up and how negative they can be in the lack of numbers in midfield. I don't think Maguire has necessarily let them down in that. Sense. No, but I think Ben White would add to add to opening up, like I mentioned right, with Trent. Yeah. If they open up a bit, if they're more confident playing at the back, I think Ben White suits it more. So yeah. You are right, Maguire for England has been different to Maguire for United, but again, it comes down to how Southgate sets up. It kind of favours him, especially against the nations that England should be beating regardless mm. of setup. It's just that when it comes to the Belgians, the Croatias, the Italys, there's, there's something wrong there. Well, there's a, there's a little bit of a myth that I've tried to address before on Talking Tactics, for example, with Matisse, that a back three is negative. You know, I think it is if you've got you know the quality in your midfield and attack and you should be you know getting the numbers in there but generally a back three means your wing backs can get really high up the pitch and actually you're still building in a three two five which is you know the shape a lot of um yeah. a lot of uh you know clubs still use like arsenal for example did at stamford bridge but ben white i just think in a back three his ability to step into midfield his ability to cover a right back if trent wants to get really high up the pitch I think he's perfect. I mean, I think he's absolutely perfect. And if he doesn't get significant game time, the, the only reason I could see him not is because he really likes Carl Walker, who is a kind of right, is, he's a fullback makeshift who slots into that role and has done it really well. But I think Ben White, on current form, the way he's more naturally a centre back, the way he can more naturally play in midfield, I, I think Ben White is the obvious choice for that position. So do I. I, I think he needs to play. 
Um, yeah. But I'm not one that cares too much about these players playing. Like I've mentioned it before, you know, m- more often than not, English players come out of tournaments regardless of a uh, last 16 exit or a final defeat to Italy with criticism, negative headlines. Uh, maybe their morale gets, gets hit a little bit. That goes for every tournament in the past 20 years, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not too fussed if they do play, but I know they'd love to play. Um, because just playing for your country is a proud moment. Mm. Um, so for that reason, I'd like to see them. You know, last season, um, last summer when um, the tournament started, the Euros, a lot of people thought, well, a lot of people knew Saka wouldn't start the tournament as first team. But by the end of it, he damn sure was first team. By yeah. the end of the year, he was the English Men's Player of the Year. Yeah. Um, hopefully a similar story for Ben White as well. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we'll touch on the rest uh, in terms of midfield. Bellingham, Gallagher, Henderson, Mount Phillips, Rice. I'll, I'll be honest, and I've been a critic of Gareth Southgate, but I don't know how many kind of obvious options he had out there. I mean, people are saying James Ward-Prowse, but... Oh, what, Madison made it as well? Yeah, okay. Madison made it. Nice. James Good. Madison made it. Foden, Greedish, Kane, Rashford, Saka, Sterling, and Callum Wilson. Sancho didn't make it. I don't... <laughs> no, Sancho didn't make it. Yeah. Birmingham was surprised. Well. No, it's not. I, yeah. I just thought he might just revert to type and bring him along as well. But he's made a, he's made some big decisions there, Southgate. Yeah. yeah. But it's not about picking the players alone. It's about changing his approach mm-hmm. to suit the players he's picking now. Yeah, I agree. Because he's got quality players there. It's just the way England's set up is, you know, a back three can be offensive and a back mm-hmm. three can be very defensive. And I think he leans more to the defensive side than the offensive side. Yeah, I completely agree. I think he does it more for protection rather than to yeah. get the wing backs. I'm not saying Conte's not doing this at Tottenham right now, don't get me wrong, but Conte's three at the back at its best yep. was about was about allowing Moses and Alonso yeah. to get forward and get goals and, and, and have a big part to 100%. play. So, uh, yeah, listen, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it. we've got Arsenal fans from all around the world. Not everyone's going to care about England. Um, but I would be interested what people think of that England squad. Um, of course, they covered it properly on DR Sports as well. So go have a look at um, Matisse's reaction there with Robbie. And who else was on it with them? Uh, Abby. Abby was on it, yes. Um, so go have a little look at that. But yeah, my general thoughts are I'm not overly offended by that <laughs> I mean I'm not at all really some people talk about Tamori I can't pretend I watch Serie A enough to know whether yeah. Tamori should have been playing I've um, heard he's been doing good but well, listen, he's, he's, I don't he's a know league winner sure. yeah. he's a yeah. league winner uh, and Eric Dyer, Connor Cody are not and Maguire certainly hasn't played enough um, Guided Tranquility asks about no Ivan Tony. I really really like Ivan Tony, but you know for who I, I don't think he the Callum Wilson I rate massively I would have put I would have probably left Rashford Maybe leave Rashford, but I think because he can play across the front three, maybe he saw something there. But yeah, but so can Foden, so can yeah, so can Saka. Yeah, Although maybe not. Obviously not striker, but I think Tony would have added something different in this, in mean. a game. You're one 0 down, ten minutes to go. You rather chuck on Rashford or chuck on Tony? In all honesty, I'd probably rather chuck on Tony. He's clearly got favourites. I mean, uh, yeah, you'll yeah. never walk alone. Seven three one. Says, you know, why, why is um, Calvin Phillips in this squad? You know, he's barely kicked a ball for Man City. But again, you know, this guy delivered for them at, at the Euros. He felt he had something good with Declan Rice and Southgate's honouring that, I suppose. Yeah. And look, Conor Gallagher's made it as well. Can I have one last rant, actually? Ramsdale's got to be the number one. He won't be. That's why I'm ranting now. Mm. I'm not just saying it in the hope of, you know, to see what will happen. But he absolutely should be the England number one. Again, um, it goes to what Southgate wants. Do you want progressive, offensive-minded football? Then yes, Ramsdale. Mm. But if you're a team that's going to set up in, in an old-school way in terms of football, then there is isn't more an argument that you know Pope is the best shot-stopper out of the lot and he's joint best defensive record with Arsenal. Um, not so much Pickford. I know Pickford playing at but the Pickford back. But Pickford will be number one. Yeah, he will be number one. It's, it's his goal too. He is his goal too. 